today we are going to continue with our Tinkercad circuits. So make sure you log into Tinkercad. And when you log in, you need to choose your personal account and then you need to use your school email to log in. You should not need a code because you've already logged into Tinkercad so you don't need a code in there. We're going to go over to the left hand side and we're going to click on circuits. We're going to create a new circuit. We need to get a micro bit. So in the right hand side, I'm going to search micro bit and I'm going to drag my micro bit out. And I think I'll turn it. We're going to need an LED because we are going to light an LED using the micro bit and a breadboard. I'm going to search for a breadboard and you can just grab the small breadboard, that one's fine. So I use the small breadboard. On the breadboard it has different designations. There's a negative side, a positive side. In addition to that, it's labeled across the top, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, and then it's labeled down the bottom by numbers. So we're going to use these numbers to make our LED light up using this breadboard and some wires. So what we need to do is we're going to connect the micro bit to the breadboard, and then we're going to connect the LED to the breadboard. So the electricity is flowing through this breadboard from the micro bit. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get a negative wire. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to connect this negative wire to ground. I'm going to make this wire black. It doesn't really matter what color the wires are, but I like to stick with black for the negative. The next thing we're going to do is we've connected our micro bit to our breadboard and now we're going to connect our LED to the breadboard. So I'm going to connect the negative side of the LED to the breadboard in the negative end. So notice that these two are both in negative. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the longer side, the anode side, over onto row four. So these should be lined up and I'm going to change this to red. And then I need to connect my micro bit pin zero to my breadboard. So I'm going to click here and I need to stay in the same row. So I need to stay in row four and I'm going to connect my micro bit here. Also on the kit that we have, we actually have alligator clips. So we could just make these look like alligator clips. So if I click on them and then I click the wire type, I'm going to click alligator. The last thing we need to add is we need to add a resistor. So I'm going to type in resistor and I'm going to grab that. And the resistor is going to connect these two sides in row four. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm going to make sure that it is, oops, I'm going to make this a wire actually. I'm just going to say normal. I'm going to connect this to row four on this side and then row four on the other side. So we have the basic micro bit and the breadboard set up, but the next thing we need to do is we need the code for it. So I'm going to click on code and of course you can start your on start, you can make your micro bit have any kind of icon that you like. So I'm going to stick with a smiley face and then we need to have an output. So the output is going to be a digital write pin. So I'm going to say digital write pin to high and then digital write pin and then I'm going to select low. And then since this is pin zero that corresponds with this pin zero over here on the micro bit. Let's start the simulation. Let's see what happens. I think I'm going to come back in. I don't see much going on and I'm going to add a weight in between the two. So I'm putting two weights in there. Let's start the simulation again. And as you can see, my little LED lights up and it goes on and it goes off. It goes on and it goes off. 
and that's what you need to do and this will be your first adventure into using a breadboard. I hope you guys have a great time and I hope you have fun creating. Have a great day.